of the way. Escape the wind has very dangerous speed for trainer driver Roger Mayotte. Arch Chip always likes to leave for Mark Evers, and he gets into the action early on as we pick it up in the first turn. Longer is wrestled back early by Pierce to drop in fifth on the inside. All-American native left. He found a spot in sixth. The Globe is seventh. Top spot early for Escape the Wind, who's eighth, edging to the outside. Articulator up the rail is ninth, and Make It Brief looks to move around Arch Chip to the front. The quarter in 27 and 2. Yankee Cruiser is already off the cones, waiting for the cover flow, and no pan intended on the move. Pronger is rank right on his back, getting carried into it, so no pan intended will attack Make It Brief for the front. Arch Chip, who left hard, is now third in behind the battling pacemakers. Pronger is second over third over his All-American native on the outside. No pan intended to the lead. Pronger applies immediate pressure for Pierce on the outside. Miller with a decision to make, and he gives no pan intended a one-hander, and Pronger is trying to get around him. The half and 55-1, and one. and these two have hooked up in a cutthroat duel as they head around the far turn. Pronger with a short lead, but unable to clear. No pan intended, who has the inside advantage. All-American native in a perfect spot on the outside a second over. Make it brief is locked in on the inside as they come to the three-quarter marker. Arch Chip shuffled back. The Globe is there. All-American native three wide and no pan intended has retaken the lead. Three-quarters and 123 and one. It's no pan intended. Pronger, despite a tough trip, hanging in there on the outside, but no pan intended opens up now. It's no pan intended. Three lengths in front. Late pace from Escape the Wind, who's charging on the outside. No pan intended. Escape the Wind is coming. No pan intended. Very tight. Photo finish. No pan An old-fashioned battle between Miller and Pierce on the back stretch, and if you were wondering why Miller would park out Pronger, well, it's apparent he felt he had the best horse, and with the win, virtually locks up Horse of the Year honors, becoming the first Triple Crown winner to win the Breeders' Crown from the first crop of Pacific Fella. This New Jersey bred is a half-brother to freshman crown winner, Better's Delight. The damn classic wish is a daughter of 87 crown champ, Ombro Emerson. The time, a career best. Bob Glazer, two for two on the night, from 77 to one in last year's crown to Horse of the Year. Quite a story, Sam. Absolutely unbelievable, Mike, and Ivan Sugg has done a masterful job managing him, and needless to say, the connections were very happy. Well, at the quarter, I, he was following me real tight, and I knew uh, I knew what he had on his mind. And uh, I, you know, I, I didn't want to uh, I didn't want to get cut him loose and get caught in behind him or anything go wrong. So I took my chances and just left him on the lead. And uh, I, I think he went a very tough mile. Top of the stretch, you open up again. Uh, tell us which strategy was there, and did you see escape the wind at that point? No, I uh, I come off last turn. I had a good hold of him, and I I asked him. He opened right up. And uh, through the stretch, I, I didn't hear a Roger until way late, but uh, my, my horse, he fought very game right to the wire. Is this the, the most gallant effort he's had yet? By far. Dave Miller is here twice tonight. Ivan Suggs, first uh, visit to the winner's circle here in the Breeders' Crown, no pan intended. Ivan, what has this ride been like for you? It's been wonderful. He's just a super horse, and I can't explain what makes him go, but he keeps going. <laughs> Bob Glazer's joined us too. Ivan, what is the best quality that he has, and is this his last race? Well, I don't know if it's his last race. Uh, his best quality is he's so easy on himself, and he never gets uh, overworked in a hole, never gets grabbing on or anything like that, or he don't grab on in the front. He just races a horse when they come to him and keeps on going. When they hit the wire there, did you know who won, and is that a horse of the year nose? Yeah, that was a horse of the year nose. <laughs> Ivan Sugg, Bob Glazer, two for two this evening. What are you thinking right now? Wow, I'm I'm overwhelmed. This is uh, this has been a great night for me. Uh, probably my greatest night in harness racing. Could you have imagined that you would be two for two tonight and with a horse last year? I mean, he wasn't a big factor among the two year olds. He's just blossomed into a, a super horse. Yeah, uh, I think you said he was 77 to one last year, and uh, you know made a. Uh, a, a credible appearance in the Breeders' Crown last year, but he, he's been uh, he's been a great horse this year. Ivan's done a great job. David just gets along with him so well, and uh, you know he's uh, here. We are in November. He's been going all year. Ivan's kept him going all year. Um, I, I'm just overwhelmed.